Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time is a uh, pretty good, pretty crazy one. I hope you enjoy it. Let's just jump into it. So today's story time is about the time I caught my teacher smoking. Yeah, let's start this. Today's story all starts off as a regular day in eighth grade. Yeah, eighth grade. I really enjoyed eighth grade. I can't lie. It was my last year of middle school and middle school for me was a lot of fun because Grades didn't really matter as much as high school did. You know, colleges don't really give a shit about your middle school grades. At least, I don't think they do. Now, this isn't me saying that if you're in middle school and you're watching this video, you should just go to school with, uh, you know, no desire to succeed and just fail all your classes. That's definitely not me saying that. But it was nice compared to high school because high school, you have to try a lot harder and it's a lot more stressful. So what I am saying is enjoy your middle school years while you have them. That's essentially it. Anyway, this all starts off as a regular day in 8th grade, okay? I jumped up out of bed very late. I was extremely late. The bus was about to be at my house any minute, and I had to get ready very quick. So I ran in the bathroom, brushed my teeth as fast as I fucking could, ran back into the kitchen, grabbed a Pop-Tart, ran into my room, got dressed really quick, bit into my Pop-Tart while I was getting ready. It tasted fucking terrible. It was a wild berry one, best flavor, wild berry, and it was mixing with like the fucking toothpaste that I just brushed my teeth with, and it just tasted horrible and then after that i uh grabbed my backpack and i ran out the front door perfect timing the bus was pulling up jumped on the school bus went to school now the first half of the school day was very normal nothing out of the ordinary went to all my periods you know things were going fine and then my ela class came around it was time to go to that class ela stood for english language arts and uh, that was the class that i had at that time so I grabbed my stuff out of my locker, I went to ELA, I sat down in my seat, I sat in the very back left corner, and uh, this class was pretty fucking boring, I can't lie. Usually when I go there, it sucked. But on this day, I remember being interested in this book that we were reading. Like, it was actually a really good story, I really enjoyed it, so on this day, I actually was enjoying ELA. And yeah, I was reading this book, just having a normal class. And about halfway through class, I started having the itch to go to the bathroom because uh, your boy drank a little bit too much Gatorade the class before. So I walked up to the front desk. I asked my teacher. I'm like, hi, can I go to the bathroom? My teacher's like, sure, hurry back. I go out in the hallway. I walk to the first bathroom I can find. I go in there. And as soon as I walk in, something smelled off. It smelled like someone was ripping an entire pack of cigarettes in that bathroom. And I was like, huh, okay, weird, but whatever. I go over to the sink. I take a look at my face and my hair, make sure I'm looking nice and handsome. And when I looked in that mirror, I realized I looked like a fucking train wreck. So I uh, fixed my hair and tried to make myself look a little bit more presentable. And then after that, I walked over to one of the bathroom stalls and proceeded to open it because I had to pee. Now, usually I would knock before opening one of the bathroom stalls, but it was already kind of open. It was like cracked open, which means it wasn't locked. And that usually means that nobody's in there. So I just swung it open, ready to go to the bathroom. And I see none other than my fucking math teacher in the bathroom stall with a cigarette hanging out of her mouth, staring at me like a deer in headlights, like she just got caught doing the worst crime imaginable. And I immediately react like, oh shit, I wasn't supposed to see this. So I kind of jump back and I slam the stall door. And then immediately I fast walk out of that bathroom to another bathroom down the hallway and go in there. And this time I just went to one of the urinals because I was not going to open the stall and find some other surprise. So I just went in one of the urinals. I start doing my business. And while I'm doing my business, I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck just happened? Like, why couldn't she use one of the staff bathrooms? Like one of the teacher bathrooms. They literally had those upstairs. Like... I figured she'd just go in there, but I guess that cigarette couldn't wait. She had to go on one of the student ones and just start ripping that shit in one of the stalls and just chiefing it up. Now math class is going to be awkward as fuck. And of course, I had math this day. I had math in like two periods. So yeah, I was not looking forward to that. Now the story doesn't end here, okay? I go back to my English language arts class. I sit back down at my table and I just go back to reading like nothing happened, right? And all of a sudden, I hear a knock on the classroom door and I look up. And my math teacher opens the door and she goes, hey, can I borrow Austin from you real quick? I got to talk to him about something. And my language arts teacher is like, yeah, sure, Austin, go. So I get up, I grab my stuff. I walk out into the hallway with my math teacher and she goes, hey. And I go, hi. Now, keep in mind, she still reeks like cigarettes, like very much like right after it happened. Right. And I'm surprised she even came and got me. I thought she was going to let it, you know, 
kind of be and then just like talk to me about it real quick at math class but nah she got me immediately and brought me out in the hallway so i was like hi and she goes all right i gotta talk to you about what just happened in that bathroom and i was like yeah she goes okay first of all there's no excuse what i was doing was completely inappropriate i'm so sorry i was like it's okay it's fine she goes no it's really not fine like i could have went outside my car I could have waited till school was over. Like, there's no excuse for me to be doing that in school. That's just ridiculous. Also, I'm sorry I was in that bathroom. The girls' one was closed. And then it hit me. I was like, holy shit. She was in the boys' bathroom. Which made this situation even more fucking crazy. Because there was literally a girls' bathroom down the hall. She could have just went to that one. Or, like I said earlier, a teacher bathroom. Or, the best option, don't fucking chief a cigarette in the middle of the school day in fucking school. Anyway, I didn't say any of this, even though I really wanted to. So I just kept nodding my head and being like, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. She's like, no, it's not fine. Like, you keep saying that, but it's not. So um, if you want to go tell the principal or whoever, I understand. I was like, honestly, you've been nice to me. You've always treated me with respect. So I'm not going to tell on you, okay? But word of advice, you probably shouldn't do that anymore. And she was like, trust me, I won't. And I was like, all right, cool. And you want to guess what happened next? You want to guess? Well, after this, I went back to class, okay? And I went back to reading my book. And the following weeks after that were very normal, nothing out of the ordinary. But about a month later, all right, the first week of the next month, I went to math class. And I sat down and uh, my teacher didn't come in. And I was like, huh, what happened? Like, where, where is she? And I start asking around. No one really knows what's going on. And, you know, she ends up being out for like a week. I'm like, okay, it's been a whole week. Where is my teacher? Like, where did she go? We just had this, like, substitute who was basically just staying. And everybody I would ask wouldn't give me a solid answer until finally I asked my principal. I was like, hey, can you tell me, like, what happened to my math teacher? Like, she just stopped coming in one day and she was just gone. Did she get let go or something? And my principal was like, yeah, you can say that. And I was like, why? Like, what happened? She goes, I can't discuss that. And I was like, can you give me a hint? And she was like, Austin, really? I was like, come on, just a little hint. And she was like, no. And I'm like, does it happen to involve smoking in the bathroom? And her face just changes into like pure like, what the fuck? And she goes, how the hell did you know that? And I was like, why? And she was like, nobody at the school knows besides the staff. Did a staff member tell you? And I was like, nope. I caught her smoking a cigarette in the bathroom like a month ago. And she goes, you did? And I was like, maybe. And she was like, why didn't you tell me? And I was like, I don't know. I didn't want to rat on her. And I felt bad. I felt like she wouldn't do it again. Apparently not. She was like, yeah, she did it again. And we can't have that here, obviously. And I was like, understandable. She was all right, get back to class. And I was like, okay. And the whole rest of that day, I was just laughing because that whole interaction was hilarious. And I had to tell my friends about it right away. But yeah, guys, um, moral of this story is... Don't rip cigs in the school bathroom. That's really stupid. Don't smoke anything in the school bathroom. Don't vape. It's not a smart idea. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.